Hello everyone, welcome to Yoga by Hannah. Today we have a short practice for stress relief. So when you're ready, we're gonna to begin today's practice at the back of your mat in hero pose. So coming to a kneeling position and just allowing the hips to sink down onto the heels. Hands can come to rest, palms facing up in your lap. If this isn't comfortable for you, you can take a blanket or a pillow underneath the hips or underneath the knees. If it still isn't comfortable for you, you can just come into any comfortable seated position. So when you get here, sit up nice and tall through the spine, roll the shoulders away from the ears, tuck the chin slightly, and I invite you to close the eyes here if you feel comfortable. And we're going to start today's practice by grounding. So just taking a moment here to notice how you're feeling, how you're really feeling. Draw your attention to how your physical body is feeling. And we're gonna take a little body scan. So imagining a beam of light at the top of your head, at the crown of your head, making its way all the way down the body, right to the tip of your toes. And just noticing any sensations that might come up anywhere where you might be gripping or holding. And see if you can soften those spaces. Soften the skin on the face. Soften the brows. Unclench the jaw, relax the shoulders. And just know that whatever's going on in the outside world, that you can let all of that stuff go for the next few minutes. And just beginning to draw your awareness to your breath now. Not trying to change it in any way, just observing it how it is. Noticing if the air feels warm or cool. Noticing if the breath is deep or shallow. Noticing where the breath goes as it enters the body. And slowly now just beginning to slow down the pace of your breath. And perhaps you notice your heartbeat in your chest. And if the mind wanders, just noticing what's coming up. And letting those thoughts float away like a cloud. Coming back to the sound of your breath. When you're ready, slowly blinking the eyes open. I'm gonna come and sit in the middle of my mat. You can stay where you are. And we're just gonna take a few rounds of a breath work called Vrishama Vritti. So what we're gonna be doing here is you're gonna be taking an inhale in through your nose, and then we're gonna take a nice long exhale breath out through our mouth and we want our exhale breath to be longer than our inhale breath. You don't have to count, just make sure it's longer. So we'll take a few rounds together. So exhale where you are, and when you're ready, take a nice deep inhale breath in through your nose, fill up. Open the mouth and take a nice long exhale. Good, we'll do two more together. Inhale through the nose. Open the mouth and take a nice long exhale. 
good. One more guided. Inhale. Open your mouth. Take a nice long exhale. Let it all go. Good. Take a couple more rounds here at your own pace. And what we're doing here is just tapping into the parasympathetic nervous system. So allowing the body to know that it's safe to calm down. Wherever you are taking one more round. release the breath. Slide your blanket or any props that you might have used away from you and we're just going to come into a slow movement now. We're going to be moving with our breath. So as you inhale, sweep up onto your knees, fingertips reach towards the sky. As you exhale, cactus through the arms. Inhale to reach back up and exhale, fold the body forwards, coming into your extended child's pose. Forehead melts into the mat. Take a nice deep inhale breath here. Feel the back body expanding. And as you exhale, rolling all the way back up to your hero pose. Good, we'll take two more rounds just like that. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale to reach up, exhale, fold. Inhale in child's pose. And exhale, roll all the way back up. Good. We'll take one more round here. Inhale to sweep up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale in your child's pose. And exhale, roll all the way back up. Good. We're just going to take a couple of twists now. Inhale to reach the hands up towards the sky. And exhale to take your twist to the left. So left arm reaches towards the back of your mat, right arm reaches forwards. Maybe you send your gaze over the left fingertips. Inhale to sit up nice and tall through the spine and exhale to twist from the belly. Just imagining here that you're rinsing out any of those negative emotions, stressful situations, Good, inhale to come back up to center and exhale to twist over to the right side. Send your gaze over the right fingertips. Inhale, sit up nice and tall through the spine and exhale, twist from the belly button. Lovely, inhale to come back up and exhale, release the hands, just allowing the hands to fall down onto your thighs or your knees if you can reach them. I can't because my arms are a little bit short, <laughs> but we're just gonna take a few rounds of seated cat cow now. So again, if you want to, you can slide a blanket underneath the hips or the knees, or you can come into a cross-legged position. As you inhale, we're gonna arch through the back, open through the chest, gaze up, as you exhale, round through the spine, tuck the chin towards the chest. Inhale to arch, open up, look up. Exhale to round, chin to chest. Good. Just taking a few rounds here at your own pace, using the sound of your breath to guide you. Inhale to open up, exhale to round. Good. 
good and then coming back to a neutral position make your way to all fours so knees stuck underneath the hips wrists stack underneath the shoulders and from here you're going to leave your um, lower body where it is but just begin to slowly walk your palms forwards allowing the chest and the forehead to come to rest on your mats coming into puppy pose so heart is, head is lower than the heart here Again, just tapping into that parasympathetic nervous system. Come back to the sound of your breath. Feeling that opening up all through the heart space, all across the chest. If you'd like to take it a little bit further, you can TP through the hands, keeping the arms straight. If you'd like to take it even further, you can take the chin to the mat. Wherever you are, taking two more rounds of breath. And then pressing through the palms, lifting the gaze. Walk the palms back slightly. Tuck the back toes underneath you, gaze forward, and then as you exhale, lifting the hips up nice and high, coming into your downward facing dog. So heels drawing towards the mat, shoulders are away from the ears, chest mounts towards the thighs. You can have a little bend in the knees here if it's more comfortable for you. And we're gonna take a couple of twists in our downward dog today. So when you're ready, lifting the right hand, take your right hand to the back of your left knee or to your left ankle. Send your gaze underneath the left armpit. Take one round of breath here. And then come back to center. We'll take it to the other side. So lifting the left hand off the mat, taking your left palm to the back of your right knee or your right ankle and sending your gaze underneath the right armpit. Take a full round of breath. And release back to center. Inhale, bend the knees, draw your chest towards your thighs, look forwards, and as you exhale, jump to the top of your mat into your forward fold. Bend the knees as much as you need to, take hold of opposite elbows, and just allow the upper body to be heavy here. You can take a little sway from side to side if that feels good. Otherwise, just enjoying the stillness. Good, release the fingertips back down to the mat. Take a nice deep inhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms up towards the sky, keep your knees bent, Utkatasana chair pose. Draw the shoulders away from the ears, tuck your tailbone underneath you. Bring the palms together, take a nice deep inhale breath. And we're gonna take our right elbow to our left knee, coming into a twist. Press the palms together, left. Send your gaze over your left shoulder. Again, just imagining, rinsing out all of that stress, anything that no longer serves you. Coming back to the sound of your breath. Good. And then releasing back into your forward fold, straightening through the legs. Take a round of breath here. And on your next inhale breath, bend the knees, sweep the hands up towards the sky, palms kiss together, exhale forward fold. Inhale to come up halfway, draw the shoulder blades together, nice flat back. Exhale, palms to the mat. Inhale to step back to your plank. Option to drop the knees. Draw the belly in towards the spine. Exhale, bend the elbows, lower down. Inhale to come up to your cobra. Exhale to take it all the way back to your downward facing dog. Take a round of breath here. <sighs> 
On your next inhale, sweep the right leg all the way up towards the sky. Exhale to step it forwards. Inhale, come up to your high lunge. Find your balance. Exhale to cactus through the arms, good. Inhale to reach back up and exhale, fold forward, step back into your downward facing dog. Take a round of breath here. Good, on your next inhale breath, bend your knees, draw your chest towards your thighs, look forwards, exhale to jump to the top of your mat. Coming into your forward fold. You can take hold of opposite elbows again, or you can take a ragdoll variation. It's totally up to you. Just find whatever feels nice in your body. Maybe take a little sway from side to side. Good, and then coming to release the fingertips down towards the mat. Take a nice deep inhale, bend the knees, sweep the hands up, chair pose, draw the shoulders away from the ears, tuck the tailbone. Bring the palms together at your heart center. And this time we're gonna take the left elbow to the right knee and come into your twist. So sending your gaze over the right shoulder. Taking a couple of rounds of breath here, pressing through the palms. And then on your next exhale, releasing back into your forward fold. Inhale, bend the knees, sweep the hands all the way up, palms come together. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to come up halfway, draw the shoulder blades together. Exhale, plant the palms. Inhale to step back into your plank, option to drop the knees here. Exhale, bend the elbows lower down. Inhale to come up to Cobra, draw the shoulder blades together and exhale, make your way to Downward Facing Dog. Take a nice deep breath here, open the mouth and sigh it out. Good, inhale, sweep the left leg up towards the sky this time, exhale to step it forward. Inhale to come up to your high lunge, tuck your tailbone underneath you. Exhale, cactus the arms, draw the shoulder blades together. Inhale to sweep the fingertips up. Exhale to fold forwards, coming back into your downward facing dog. Good, take a nice deep breath here. And then stick your tongue out, lion's breath. Good. From here, gently allowing the knees to come down onto your mat. And we're gonna end today's practice in child's pose. So if you have a cushion or a pillow and you'd like to make it a supported child's pose, then feel free to do so. So bringing the knees as wide as the mat, laying your cushion or your, or your bolster down lengthways in front of you and just allowing the upper body to come to rest on your prop. You have a couple of options with the arms. You can just allow them to cuddle into your prop. Or if you'd like to, you can bring your arms, palms facing up, elbows underneath the shoulders, or palms facing down. So just finding a comfortable spot Closing down the eyes. And coming back to the sound of your breath. Allowing yourself to feel held here by your yoga mat, by your pillow. And with each exhale, allowing the body to feel heavier, sinking into your mat. Notice how you feel. And 
and just take a moment here to find some gratitude towards yourself for making it to your mat. You have the option to stay here if time allows or otherwise if you need to come out and end your practice gently peeling yourself off your prop and coming to find a seated position on your mat. Inhale, sweep the hands up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center in prayer. Thank you so much for practicing with me and I hope to see you on the mat again very soon. Namaste.